How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Infected. We're playing version 12, guys. Yes, guys, in this video, we're going to cover the new features of version 12. Before we go any further, though, I do want to mention that the version is available to play in a beta branch. And these updates that you guys that I'm going to cover are subject to change before the, the release of version 12. So bear that in mind. So this means that right now I am currently playing in a beta branch. Okay, guys. So one of the biggest update is the new map environment. We have a brand new map to play around with. I am so excited. This is going to be epic. So uh, all the icon, for example, this I this over here is marked as a fish icon, meaning that only fish are spawning in this lake over here everything else nothing you won't see or get any fish unless you're here that's a major update right there obviously obviously we got the swamp area which is fine we also have some new rocky sand biomes for example these two this is the forest the greenish part is the forest we got some sand for some rocky structures this is going to be epic i love it okay so we got all that uh now X's over here, as you can see, are marked for cave locations. This is very important. The reason is because caves will allow for ore extractions. Coal, mushrooms, and lead. All four of these. So ore, ex ore extractions, coal, mushrooms, and lead. Meaning that there's no more uh, places or grounds. For example, if I want to build he here anything here, extractors, this will not yield any more ores. For example, if you hit any of these boulders, no ores will be given to you. That's a one of the major update. I love that. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, so and also, also something uh, something new. Specific animals will now spawn in a specific regions meaning that there might be like for example uh boars might spawn here i hear i hear a board that's why i say boars might spawn in forest um i don't know bears might go like somewhere here i, I no clue yeah so i have to figure this out <laughs> in the gameplay i have to it's gonna be epic uh, as you guys like I said uh, scrollable map that's awesome I love this option uh, I just love it so you can actually see look at that you can actually see the village and all the houses oh this is beautiful uh, and also we have now seven towns and 14 tech blueprint to find Yes, so they, they he did add another town with two new tech BP. I will talk about this later. Mineral extractor changes, guys. One of the major update for version 12. Okay, so mineral extractors now have to be placed in caves to extract the ores. If they are placed anywhere outside of caves, they will yield only iron ores and fragments. That's it. That's awesome. I love it. You still have the option to extract uh, stone. So don't worry about that. It's still in, in the game. It's not gone. Um, but th the thing is, though, you will have to figure out which cave extracts what ore. So, for example, you have one cave here, two and three over here. Um, the caves are marked as an X over here, as you can see. Uh, so we don't know which what does this uh, this location uh, this cave gives us this might be copper this might be aluminum this might be uh cobalt or this might be cobalt aluminum and copper or copper aluminum uh, you, you, there's like so many variations it's awesome i love it <laughs> i love it so you have to go out explore and place extractors move extractors depending on what what type of resources you need that's gonna be awesome the gameplay has completely been uh, uh, redone it's uh, it's gonna be amazing uh also note that these extractors will no longer give coal so there's no coal from extractors guys that's a major update coal now instead can be acquired by breaking coal nodes in cave so once you go inside a cave you will see a node i will 
pop a picture right now, I guess. <laughs> and you have to actually mine this and it will yield three coal. That's it. So now you have to work for uh, for your way to get a coal. It's going to be oh, it's kind of like, like getting lead. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh, my God, I can't wait. Love it. Hunting and meat. Guys, harvesting animals for meat has not been changed completely. For now, we need to carry or transport the carcass to the new butcher table and butcher uh, to butcher the animals. Uh, this is epic. Note that the chickens and birds do not require to butcher the table. You can just press E to harvest them as we usually do, you know. Uh, so there's two ways to do this. You can either carry the deer or whatever animals you hunted. Uh, you will be slowed down if you press E on it to carry it, for example, and they look like weird when they drop, but you know, <laughs> you can carry it by pressing the E key, but note, you will be slowed down, as you can see over here. Press the mouse right button to drop it. Or the second option is to make yourself a cart, a lock cart. You can press the E key on the deer and then press the E key on the lock cart. This will actually place down the animal onto the uh, the butcher table. Butcher table, I mean the lock cart, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we made it back over here. Awesome. So, now the thing is, guys, uh, you, you, will, you can carry only one carcass of deer or I'm not sure how many carcass of uh, lower, like smaller animals. Um, I have to check that, but... Yeah, but basically you can uh, carry log carts and it's honestly, it's just much easier to get a cart to hunt. And uh, yeah, so we got back home, for example, and you have to uh, make yourself a butcher table, which is under food. So this is the brand new butcher table. There we go. This is the butcher table, guys. Looking great. So what you have to do, uh, as, as you are going to pick some logs, you can mouse right button to pick your animal carcass up. Press E onto the butcher table, grab yourself your axe, and then press E on it. And you will have this animation going, and this will yield, look at that. Uh, as usual, it will give you animal hide, it will give you bones, but... Look how much food this gives. Oh, this is beautiful. And we also have some new type of food. R livers, guys. I'm going to cover that in the later section of this video. But note that you can also carry animals uh, through... Why am I slowed down? Oh, it's because of the... Yeah, it's because of the food. <laughs> the actual food is carry is uh, weighing me down so much right now. That's, in that's actually quite funny. But look how much food it yields. That's what, 10, 18, 19 if you want to count the liver. That's amazing. Uh, note you can carry animals to your from your log cart uh, or also your uh, truck. That's also a possibility. Something I forgot to mention. When butchering animals, you will get your hands bloody. As you can see here, my hands have blood on it. And... From this, there's a risk of getting food poisoning when you're eating your foods and stuff like that. To fix this, first of all, you will need to wash your hands. There's two possibilities. You can either go to a near pond, look at the wa water and press E to wash your hands. You can also look at your basin. If you have a basin, you can also from there um, uh, clean your hands. And there, also there's another possibility is to use your flask. As you can see over there, there's an option, wash hands. So from there, look at that. You wash your hands with your spear on. Why Why not? <laughs> okay. So let me talk about uh, food poisoning a little. So there's going to be a new icon that appears on the bottom left of the screen uh, when player has a food poisoning. So how do you fix that? Uh, you will need to eat a um, potato or an uh, egg to remove that, if, uh, that, uh, that effect. Um, so what does the poison, food poisoning do? Well, your vitals stats will reduce twice as fast when the food poisoning is active. So yeah, just get uh, get rid of it as soon as possible. <laughs> All right, guys, new animals. And as you can see, we have one right over here. The chicken. Yes, this game has chicken, guys. 
Uh, the chicken will spawn anywhere on the map and it, it will serve as a good protein source. Where'd it go? No. Come here, chicken. Don't leave me. I want you. Oh, that wasn't good of a move. Okay. So you can actually kill the chicken and you can harvest the chicken. You won't need uh, the, um, the food, uh, the... Uh, Butcher table, sorry, words. <laughs> so once you're done uh, grabbing the chicken, you can actually get, let me show you guys that, two raw chicken and two eggs. And these will be useful uh, for later uses. I'll show you guys the new recipes that we got. And the next thing is a goat. Yes, this game does have a goat. Uh, goats have no unique harvestable items currently, but milk will be added in the near future oh my god i'm so excited about that it's gonna be milk means more more food more stuff oh, it's gonna be awesome i can't wait i don't i can't find i can't seem to find any goat right now so i apologize i will i will uh, show a picture of the goat uh right now i guess <laughs> there's been some addition to the food system Guys, we got some brand new food here. Let me show you guys that. We got the raw liver. We have the raw bacon. The raw chicken. And of course, their cooked version. So this is the cooked liver. We got the cooked bacon and the cooked chicken. Awesome. I love that. Um, also note that these changes are reflected into the official infected wiki. So if you need information, make sure to go there. Now, we got more than that. We also have these, like these tuna, the dried tuna, the bluegill, and also it's dried version. Trout and the dried trout looking so great. Okay, now for the most amazing thing here, bacon pie mix. So this will basically require one bacon, one egg, one potato, and one onion, which will give us, you cook this on a stove, which will give us a bacon pie. Now guys, notice there's a big difference in this change. Um, as you can see, citamina is, will be up, up by 0.5. So you eat two of these, you will get one stamina up. Previously, this fruit salad was providing us with 0.2 stamina upgrade. But right now, it's at 0.05. Now, I mean, this is a major change in the food system. This will become the most uh, efficient thing that you want to go with if you want to increase your stamina. Of course, <laughs> stamina is one of the biggest... Um, stats in this game because it will it allows us to run fast uh, not run faster sorry i meant run longer definitely worth it going for the bacon pie now the only problem i find th this is that you need to get a stove to uh bake this which is kind of sad i would they, i would love to have some intermediate where i don't know you you have this uh brick brick uh co cooking station where you can actually cook the bacon pie that would have been an awesome addition but i guess down the road i'm not sure maybe who knows i'll i'll add as as a suggestion to uh to discord <laughs> we'll see uh okay now these things let me show you guys that so previously uh you had to harvest okay i got my fish here previously you had to harvest the fish and uh, you will get a raw fish and this you were able to dry uh the fish itself right so in the version 11 you had to do this then dry the fish the, the raw fish now as you noticed i can easily dry the whole fish here man this is beautiful i love it now the only downfall is that these guys does they provide i forgot to check i can pay food and drinks yeah, they provide nothing. Uh, just some food. Uh, basically, your proteins and stuff like that. Uh, and they're no, not much craft info, though. Sadly. <laughs> um, I guess they will give you some uh, protein. That's about it. Would have been awesome if you had, like, I don't know, uh, if, you, if you get the dry... Uh, this one, the dry tuna. The big fish over here, the big one. 
this might have, uh, I don't know, would have been awesome if they provide some sort of um, uh, stats, I don't know, maybe like 0 0.01 of something, um, protein, for example. That would be great. <laughs> but I guess it's, it's this is fine. Uh, it's doing good. I'm, I'm fine with that. We're good. We got so much stuff here, guys. I'm really excited for version 12. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, there's been another addition to the game, and it's called the Item Out Align. And as you can see, I'm standing behind a tree, and I can see the sticks and the stones. They're like, it's easier to spot uh, like this. So, for example, you're searching for stone and stick. You can find them. Oh, oh there it is. And you can get them like that. Pretty, pretty cool. I like it. I like this feature. Very nice. Other additions and changes. So, guys... One of the awesome features that the dev added, it's called the foundation clipping or the uh, structure clipping. As you can see, all, so, uh, all the foliage around my foundation is getting wiped away or hidden. I don't know how you want to call this. If you place, for example, foundations, before we used to have like um, clipping uh these these foliage into the foundation but right now it's clean look at that this is great it is an awesome addition i love that one we also have uh the large backpack now requires four croc skin uh previous, previously it was eight uh the perish time on the fish is four hours uh, we can poke and throw animation uh has been changed so this is a new poke and this is the new animation of uh, throwing. As you can see, it has like a neat, um, a neat uh, throw animation. I like it. I like it very much. Uh, so also, uh, hunting tutorial quest changed to reflect changes on how animals are harvested. Uh, remove plastic requirements from rations and added two eggs instead. So this means like uh, into the item PDF food and drinks. Previously, the ration would take plastic in its uh, crafting in info, but now we have it, it was swapped to eggs. So it re required two eggs to make a ration and all the, the other requirements. Uh, water basin, yes. That's been a new upgrade as well. Uh, storage, nope, food. Yes, food. So previously, water basin was more like a... Um, a um, iron-ish texture, metal te texture, but right now we got a wood texture on the wood basin. This looks very, very clean and neat. I like it very much. And the crafting info has been changed as well. Right now it will take you six planks to make this instead of, I think previously was it was using iron uh, nails. Uh, collisions were removed from storage stands. For example, the lock stands, all these stands over here, storage stands, all the collision has been, have been removed. Uh, does this apply to shelves as well? I'm not sure. I have to check that out later down the road, I guess. But Vambies and uh, Animal AI will no longer be blocked by these items. So that's uh, that's actually a pretty awesome uh, awesome news. Okay, one of the biggest updates. Well, I consider it. It's because it's fun. The seventh village. I'm not sure which one it is, but there's another village that has been added to the game. So this means that we have seven village and 14 tech blueprints to find. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, the new tech, um, those two blueprints are the power technology and the oil pump technology. Uh, there's also a new tutorial quest called Water. This will basically teach you... Um, I don't know if I can... I, maybe it's here? No? F? Uh, where is it? Water. Here. Basically, this was, this will allow you to um, um, get used to how to get water. In Croc footsteps sound has been added into the swamp. That's pretty cool. Last but not least, the zoomable map has been added. Of course, this is awesome. I love this zoomable map. It is just so much awesome. I just can't express because previously where everyone was like, please add this. We need to we need to see where it is and all that. And there we go. Can actually see the village. 
that's actually great now i can actually we, we could make a road where we want to go to how we want to make uh do the village this is beautiful i love this change so guys if you enjoy this update video make sure to smash that like button for me please and subscribe to the channel don't miss season three it's going to be a blast i am message gaming 599 till next time guys